So, I'm just gonna make this video right now since I'm not doing shit. I just drained the catch can and I'm gonna show you, give you a quick update on the car. So, it's my 2020 GTI DSG. Technically, full bolt on right now. You know, I have every single bolt on part that you can toss on it as far as performance goes. And I'm just like so happy with it. You know, right now, Intake, exhaust, downpipe, catch can, charge pipe kit, intercooler, and the IS38, which is a game changer. It is so worth it. There's gonna be a whole video on that um, on its own, just because it blows my mind how much different it is, but how much better it makes this car. Because the stock turbo is great, but it wasn't like, wow. Like, IS38 just wakes up the car way more. There's no turbo lag. In my opinion, there's no turbo lag. But yeah, definitely a, a well worth it upgrade. So, like I said, quick overview. Front mount intercooler, CTS turbo intake, and also CTS turbo inlet pipe, turbo inlet. EQT discharge pipe with an EQT turbo muffler delete, which that goes down and around to the CTS turbo charge pipe, also on this side. And then I also have the CTS turbo throttle pipe. You really can't see it. It's like right up in there. It's literally right here, but you really can't see it. <sighs> Racing line catch can kit. Under here, I have the APR coil packs and the RS, no, I have the NGK racing plugs. And back here is the ARM downpipe and the IS38. And honestly, you would never know that it's an upgraded turbo. It's like I didn't tell you and you had no idea what you were looking at. You'd be like, oh, it's okay, it's a turbo car. But that's one thing I love about the Golf R upgrade and a lot of the upgrades on the GTIs on the Mark 7s anyways you really can't like once you upgrade even to a bigger turbo like say you go to the vortex it still looks factory turbo upgrades on this car unless you go like a crazy crazy setup you're really not going to change up how it looks it looks oem this is an is38 so it's going to look more oem but if you go with like a bigger vortex turbo or the apr setup the only thing that would give it away is like markings on the turbo other than that car is good i mean like it's pulls so hard hauls i got continental extreme contacts all around because i needed to upgrade the tires i have the awe track exhaust sounds amazing in my opinion stock turbo still in there <laughs> but uh yeah running the eqt stage 2 93 is 38 tune with their dsg tune for the is 38 and it is a well worth it tune there's plenty of other tunes out there but eqt has been great since day one even with the stock turbo it's been great no complaints amazing customer service uh amazing community their facebook page people are always asking questions always answering questions so 
this, this, an update on a card. I'm gonna do a full overview another time. Um, get some like beauty shots and yeah, right now the car is all set. I do have things coming in the future, like a wheel set up, upgraded suspension parts, some cosmetic stuff, just to give it more of an aggressive look. Cause like, for example, carbon fiber mirror caps, I do have the ECS tuning carbon fiber hood uh, spoiler, which is so beautiful. It makes the back of the car look so much better. I have an eBay diffuser. I'm debating on if I should just go with the ECS tuning carbon diffuser. Um, I'm gonna upgrade to Aerofab side splitters, just because these are cool. They're three piece though. I mean, it has a little winglet there, but I want something else, so I'm over these. I got the mud flaps on, but I'm gonna take those off. One thing I definitely have to upgrade is these brakes. Like I can see there's like heat spots on them already, especially for the front. So I have to upgrade these fronts ASAP. Um, and that's really it, bro. Like I said, this car is good how it is. It is plenty quick. I'm taking this to the track next month. We'll see what times I put down, but that's all I gotta say. So uh, stay tuned for the next video. There's gonna be an IS38 video coming out for the turbo alone, some driving clips, POV drive, and that's it. Catch you in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, share it with your buddies. Share it with more people with the GTI because I know one thing I've learned is that a lot of people hit me up on Instagram asking questions. You know, I say a lot in my videos, and I want people to know about it, you know, so share my video. Share it with your grandma. I'm sure she will love seeing this car. But, uh, yeah, anyway, guys, I will catch you in the next one. I got to start thinking of, like, a phrase to say at the end of every video. Something inspiring, something positive. Because that's, that's what I like. I like being positive. I like spreading motivation and inspiring others. Build your car how you want to build it enjoy every moment of it because in an instant this could be gone you know lord willing that doesn't ever happen but enjoy every moment live life to the fullest and just appreciate everything you got that's all i can say catch you in the next one